Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Edgar and I'm going to uh, try to teach you something uh, important in this video. Okay, because this is an iPhone 7 that comes to my shop with Apple logo. Edgar, iPhone 7 is too old, but the things I'm going to share to you, you can apply this to every phone, okay? I don't care if it's iPhone 15, 16, 18, 20, I don't care. It's always the same thing. So I'm going to show you what's wrong with this phone. I'm going to power on. Oops, I'm going to power on right now. Okay, and this phone is giving me, okay, just give me one second. Apple logo, okay, Apple logo, and then it's going to restart, right? And it's going to be like that, Apple logo and restart, Apple logo and restart, okay. So, I'm going to teach you something. Remember, if we have Apple logo, okay, if we have right now Apple, Apple logo on our screen, that means because we have one CPU that is on, and because the CPU is on, that's why we have Apple logo. This is the same thing when you power on your computer. You first see the Apple logo from uh, the brand of the laptop or the computer and then some lines, that's because the CPU is power on. Okay, so that's that's why we have some letters there or some Apple logo in this case, right? Because our CPU is on. And then, and if we come to laptops or, or, or PCs, right? When the CPU is power on, the CPU needs to go to the hard drive to extract all the drivers, the configuration and all the data from the from us, uh, the customers and everything, right? So the CPU had to have connection with some another component. In this case, an iPhone we are going to call NAND because the NAND is our hard drive, right? In this, in this hard drive, we have the iris, we have drivers, we have everything, all the confi, okay? And when the CPU is on, the CPU is going to connect with the NAND to extract all this information and then show another things right here. For example, the background and all, all that kind of stuff, okay? So, and to have, to have the CPU on or NAND on, we need another component. So that's why we are going to come here and we are going to hold our PMU. Remember when we just connect the battery, we have the principal lines coming right here, right? The principal lines, all the lines from the battery. And when this circuit receive a signal that is on, when we press the power key, so we are going to have some voltage that is going to come here, come, oops, sorry. That it's going to come there, it's going to come to the NAND, it's going to come, for example, for audio, it's going to come for uh, cameras, it's going to for touch, uh, face ID, uh, LCD, everything, RF, everything. The PMU is the one in charge to provide power for everything on our phone. The same thing if we come back for PCs. We have one power supply there that provides power for our motherboard, for the graphic control and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, you have to understand this, right? We have two stages. When we connect the battery and we when we press the power key and this line will start working. This line, we're going to call this line box. The ones are going for the CPU and we are going to have LDOs, right? The ones provide power to another uh, FPC or our uh, circuits. Okay, so if you if we have Apple logo, that means the CPU is on. To have the CPU on, we need the box. So that means because in this phone we have Apple logo, that means I have the box and I have the PMU working fine. That's one thing. So I don't have to go and check the box. But you have to remember one thing that I teach you, okay? I teach you the one second rule. The one second rule is every iPhone had to start in 60 to 120 milliamps, right? In the first second, when you press the power key, 
And this first second, we had to have 60 to 120. Okay, because this is good. Okay, but what happened in this phone? I'm going to show you in this phone what happened. Okay, so I'm going to come right here, press this, and I'm going to come to power C. Okay, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to start gra the graphic. Okay. I'm going to press the power button in one, two, and three. Whoops. What happened there? We have 400. 400. And then we have Apple logo. And then that's, uh, that's just, that's it. Okay. So we have right here, boom, 400. So the one second rule, it's no good because we have one 400 there so what happened there we have to understand that the PMU is supplying power for for example some circuits some circuits and the PMU is sending some voltage for for example FPC connector for example a camera connector so what's wrong what's wrong for example what's wrong if um, in this case we have one circuit bad inside and when this circuit receives for example 1.8 voltage this circuit is bad so this circuit is going to have another consumption for example 400 milliamps and then we have a we are going to have a bad consumption to here and the PMU is going to say something happened there I'm going to use save my my life my I'm going to just save me right and I'm going to turn off that's why it's turning off oh I have problem okay I'm going to turn off because I, oh there is one problem right or we can have for example a camera working good with a water damage and when the camera received three voltage for example so this one, we are going to have a different consumption, 400, and the PMU is going to receive this in four. Oof, it's raining really bad outside. Okay, and then the PMU is going to receive this information and, they're going, and the PMU is going to say, okay, no, there is a problem, I'm going to turn off. Okay, so that's why you had to understand this. And you had to understand the PMU, we have LDOs and we have box. So when you have a problem in an Apple logo, you had to check these lines in Diamo. You had to go to your schematics, search for the LDOs and box from uh, the, PM, the PMU and start checking line by line and start comparing this line with another board. So what happened in this phone? This phone, for example, I'm going to disconnect one component here. I'm going to disconnect the back camera. I'm going to come here. I'm going to come here and I'm going to start a new graphic and I'm going to press the power key and one, two, three. Oh, see, we have now 60 and the first second rule. So that means we have a good power second right here because we have 60 and no 400 like before, right? Okay, and now the phone is turning on and we don't have the restart. See, we just have Apple logo. We had to wait a little bit. Remember this phone is slow now. And there, there is, we have iPhone that is on just because one camera is making some problems with the PMU and that's why the phone is turning on, turning off. You have to understand this because sometimes it's not just a camera, sometimes it's another flexor or sometimes it's just a circuit. But you have to understand the important thing that the PMU is the center of an iPhone when we have problems before the, uh, no, after the power key. When we press the power key and we have a problem, but we have Apple logo, you have to check the box and the LDOs because some sometimes you are going to have a short circuit there, you, ha you are going to have a leak, or maybe you can have um, a, a flexor or a 
peripheric like a camera, right? So you have to understand this. This is an easy video, but my, um, my goal in this year is to teach you guys the easy things in this kind of repair, but because sometimes it's not the board, right? We have to understand what I, we are doing to fix these things, okay? Leave your comments below, share this video, and see you in the next one.